Good morning, everyone. It's Rachel here, and we are doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So um, it's a fairly simple thing today, but I thought I would use pieces of real ephemera or documents or even um, just plain ledger paper. So I've got my documents here that I might use, even a crumply one, which has beautiful script on it. I wanted to see if I could separate it. Probably needs an iron. So we've got that. Um, and then I've got some printed, both sides. I've been battling with the printer. I could have had my video done by now, but it's so annoying. It's such an annoying printer anyway. It is what it is now. Um, so what I'm, I've just printed up some of my book pages and documents, and I'm going to fold that over because I like that detail. Now you can do, you know, be all crumply and do stuff like that. Um, crunch it up and everything if you want to, just to make it look older. So that's going to glue down. This one I'm just going to tear a few bits off by hand. I've done mostly tearing with the ruler, but this one is quite uneven. And we're just going to make uh, little journaling spots, so things that you write on, um, that we can just put in the pockets. So things that you write on pocket fillers is what they are. Um, and I think we've done them before. So I'm revisiting, but they are very useful things to have when making a journal. Very useful things to put in the journal. So I'm just going to do a bit of random tearing. Okay, that's that one. That one's okay. And this one I'm going to glue down top and bottom. And then I will attempt to tear that bit out there. So let's do that first. And then you're going to need some a few little embellishing things. So I have some Victoriana stuff and then um, printed, not original. And then I have also some, you know, flowers. I've been, I had my, I spoke to my sister today. So while I was chatting to her, I did some cutting, which was kind of good. And I'll just trim that bit off there and that bit off there. Okay. And I need to glue this one. And then we can get cracking and have a play. So very, very simple. Probably won't be a very long video. We'll probably get quite a bit done, which is always good. So, you know, sometimes things don't always need to be overly complicated. Okay. And I do have some samples which I will show you so this is a sample of one here so this was a document like this um, it had a tear in it so I put a piece of paper which I really like there and then I've just embellished it a little bit so that would sit in a pocket you could have it that way or that way so it's a lovely document so you can keep the integrity of the document but then you can go and write on it or do something with it so that's the that's the idea so let me pull my sleeves up because they'll get dirty um i think i'm out of or i might still have one wet one so we're going to use those oh let me just try and tear this yeah that's white okay that's that one and then we've got original things as well so let me grab my bone folder and see. As I mentioned, you can iron the paper. I would just do it at a low temperature and some even just put like a um, tea towel over and and then you can kind of flatten it out a bit. But I'll, this will do a little bit. Yep, this is doing the job. And if it were to tear, no problem. You can, it's an excuse to patch it, which I might do with this one and it will flatten it out a little bit. So first we're going to do our folding and we'll probably mostly be doing tri-folding depending on how big they are. I might have to fold a bit further like this one. Oh, this is just plain. Well, this is still a good thing to have. Um, this one I might. No, I think I'll keep it whole. I was thinking I could tear it in half, but so what I might do with this is I'm going to fold that over. This one is already going to have a variation because you can do variations, remember. Whatever pops into your mind, give it a go. That's what I say. So I'm going to make a pocket because it's so big. Like if I were to tri-fold it, it's going to have to go into a pretty 
large-ish journal. So what I might do here is just fold this over like that. I already need need um, <laughs> wet one. So I'm going to put some glue here and here. And just glue that down and then try fold it. So I don't want them to be too wide so that way they can fit into other journals and then it will be then we have the fun bit of embellishing so that's going to be like that so then when you open it there's going to be a little pocket here which we will sort that all out in a minute but then you can also write on it okay that's one let's just grab this get our creases going We're just going to interchange what types. That one's going to be like that. And it definitely needs some embellishment. There's going to be more simple embellishing and there's going to be more complicated embellishing. Okay. So they're all going to be sideways. I love that. I like the fold over here too. It makes them nice and robust so I'm showing with the digital too because not everybody has old ephemera and so you need to have options of how can I do that without having the old ephemera you can certainly can do it and you of course can scrunch these up as I mentioned and make them look older like these uh, I just don't bother because I've got the old stuff so I might as well just use that in its original crumpled state and then um, and I just the new stuff is the new stuff and I like both I like to have both this one I'm not going to put a pocket I'm going to just do a little fold here and then another fold there and then that can go like that so that's just as a nice big page to write on 18 does it say 1876 I think it does um, usually it says in at in anno yeah it's pretty old but really really damaged from a council Urbino oh Urbino is wonderful if you ever get a chance to go to Urbino I think I might may or may not have told you before there's the best preserved Renaissance palace there by and it was owned by the Duke of Montefeltro amazing paintings there i took my friend hides there and she absolutely loved it this one i'm going to keep integral now with a big thing like this too i could quite easily just rip it across there and have two smaller ones maybe i'll do that with this one so we might go here and we'll have two smaller ones because sometimes we want this sort of thing as well And there. This one I'm going to fold like so, just in half. Have to go in a whitish pocket. We have this old document. I've had this for a very 1859. I didn't do that, it was already like that. I think I'm going to fold it in three. Also, when you have those, you know, those big flip out deep pockets these are good for those as well okay so that will be the front and this is quite a frail piece of paper I think I'm going to tear this one in half just because it's frail. I might leave it one no I think I'll do it like that like so Now we may not decorate it all. That one I'm going. Oh, that one you can't really write on, so I won't do that one. This one you can. And have that one like that, and then just fold it up. 
So of course then you can tuck things into that. We'll just have one of those for the moment because they're also good to, oh, that's it. Okay, good. So now we have the fun of embellishing. So that's gonna go that way. And I'm just gonna slowly start collaging a few things here and there. I love this. This is kind of like a raggy paper. I think I'm gonna put that, maybe not on this one, let's see. Maybe on one of the printed out ones, or I don't want to cover that writing. I kind of like it there. Let's just have a look. Oh, you could even have it a bit like a tab. I like that. Okay. So how is everyone today? Hope you're well. We are well. We're going to see Steph's cousin tonight and her companion and their son, who was the previous one that used to be a bit of a nightmare, but he has he is slowly improving with age. We would I will tell you, I will let you know. He is improving with age. Lulu's still traumatized by him. Um, those of you who are new, you probably don't know who I'm talking about, but um, pretty much um, Seth's cousin is not a disciplinarian. Let's just say, leave it at that. And so um, her son has, while he, when he was young, has had a little bit less than desirable sort of behavior. I'm just thinking, like I could glue something on there. Maybe I'm going to get some thin finish paper. Let me see here. I have this old pattern paper that I could glue on there, but I, it is patterned, so. I'm wondering, is there a piece with not too much pattern? No. Nope. It's all very patterned. Okay, so we won't use that. I just won't bother folding that. I'll just put it down, plonk it on the floor. Just trying to see if I don't think I've got anything else there. I'll tell you what I do have up there if I can. Can I be bothered to lift up there, get up there and get it? Yes, I can. Tissue paper. box full of tissue paper so oh I might use I could use pattern paper like this one maybe I'll use do I have any that's open oh pink I've got pink This is nice. I just wanted to, oh, I think I like that. I don't know how old this is. I'm not concerned about using it. I just think it's a nice touch. And I haven't finished embellishing at all yet, but we're just gonna slowly work through them. I know we've done this before because I have them. I have well, actually I had them up over there in my pile, and quite often when I'm playing around, I I just plonk things up over here in front of me in a pile. I didn't want to cover the writing. Um, see, it almost looks like it's part of it. Um, yeah, I have things up in a pile over there, so I think I've made these and then thought I must. Do a video with that see how it's ironed it out a little bit i think i may come in here with a little bit of something i could even i had this little lovely piece left from yesterday or the other day not yes i didn't do a video yesterday did i i could just put that there that's going to be on the crease so i don't want it on the crease because no um 
then it's going to be stiff. And these are not meant to be overly bulky sorts of things. Now that's going to be a good piece to use somewhere. Um, they're not meant to be overly bulky. So that's why I'm being careful about what I put on. Have a nice piece of just, maybe I'll put that there. I'm just going to tear it this way so there's no white. Okay, and it's a bit more wonky. So where necessary, just putting some things on the inside as well. I'm just, it is on the crease, but okay, I can get over that. I am flattening out, flattening out some of these crumply bits. I didn't get any glue in that little corner. There's always a corner. I think it's the corner that I hold on to. Okay, good. Now that has such beautiful script on it, writing on it. There's no way I'm going to throw this beautiful piece of paper out. There's just no way. It just doesn't bother me at all. But I'm still going to do more, but I'll put that one aside. But I already love it. Okay, that's that one. Now let's go here. And what was I going to put here? I was going to put something that I said I was going to put. Oh, I put that over there. Okay, well, I have more. Let's use something. I'm going to just put these all over here. So I have to take my jumper off because I'm feeling hot. Okay, that's better. It's not cool. Like it's, you know, it's cool. It's like in the early, low 20s, early 20s, low 20s. Not, it's not an age, is it? Okay, we will keep this because we might use that again. Oh, no, I haven't used it yet, but we might use it. Put those there. Okay, so on here, I think I might have, got some of my favorite book page that I don't have any to sell anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I did... I did put it in packs a while back, but I don't have any more. I think I want, if you're going to put a decoration on, you need to have it up here because then that's going to go in the pocket. See, then you won't be able to see it. Although my other one did have one low down, I think. I'm going to put this on sideways. So pretty much you then of course will open it and that's where you write. You can add pockets. I'm not going to add pockets, but you can add pockets. Um, you can add, you know, pretty things on it. That's quite nice. I've been tearing up all kinds of things here, which is good because I really needed to do that off that one. Oh, I like that on there on this one maybe I'll put that nope this size nope up there doesn't stand out enough I thought I'd try and work with some of these things that I have cut out. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe I'm not going to put it up high. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put that on there because I like the colours. It's a colour thing for me, as you know. I'll just be careful with my mushy glue here not to rip things off because with flowers I tend to rip them off. use my flowers for a while I think maybe the other day but not often I got told off for using them so much so I haven't used them for months it's just because I like them I think I should be allowed to use what I want to use don't you think what makes me happy mine is not forced to watch Didn't stand out enough, that one.
Hmm. Not much there. Got a few of these actual painted ones that I did. I haven't used those for a while. Actually, I would put that down there. That I that's painted. That one. That's not um, printed or anything like that. So I've put everything on the bottom now. So it's going to go in the. But I could put it in a transparent pocket at the beginning of a journal. That would be nice. And I feel like I might like a little something, something here. I do love this. I might put a bit of that there. I'm not even going to end audition it. I'm just going to put it on. So I'm just going with the flow a bit today. So if I feel like doing more work on it, I'm doing it. If I feel like I'm going to do a little bit of work on one and come back to it, then I'm going to do that too. So not totally streamlining the process. You can have something here, you could have a pocket here. But I'm trying not to add too much bulk. So we do have that and then maybe just, and again, I put it down below, but there you go. I have contradicted myself. Because it is quite a, you know, a bit of a, a fluid sort of process in the sense that I sort of go with the flow a bit. I think I'm going to be okay with that one. I just put it aside and, and then come back to it if I need to do something else. So we might alternate between, so that's lovely writing space there, between um, original and printed. Okay, so we don't want anything too big on here because I don't want to cover everything up which is why I did cut out some Victorian things, let me see, to have them ready to go. It's a bit like in the document journal, sometimes I just like to add something like that, but I might put that one on the back. And then here we might have just some textiles we could have a little piece of maybe this one okay I am I'm not done with this one yet I will be back with more but that is the start okay Now here we've got a bit more space that we can play with and I may just glue some nice paper. I think just a little bit. I'll keep that to glue on another one. A bit of old grungy wormy paper. can't believe how time is flying honestly if I think about the time flying I mean I get into an absolute panic because I have normally I just haven't started anything I haven't started Christmas or anything I did start a, a cover um, but that's about it didn't get very far oh I like that side oh well Oh, I ended up putting the glue here anyway, so I must have been determined to have that side. It's just because it's not torn quite right, but maybe I can just get that to fold over. There we might have some textile. And then we have this one. really do like this transparent pattern paper and I always forget to use it so um, like I could put that there or maybe put it I think I'll put it up there because this is quite a thin paper too it's just give it a little bit more strength here and there and you know this kind of paper not quite like vellum it really does glue down well but it's kind of semi-transparent as well 
and it's not bulky and it doesn't curl. S's everywhere. I always think of you, Sandra, with the S's. I'm going to put that there. It's just so pretty. Because I made one of my document journals that I made. Oh, one of the Jaff ones. It went to Sandra with, and it had an S on it. That's why I think of her. So that's going to go there. And then here, we could have... Nineteen forty-five. Oh, I do like that. I think I'm going to put that there. I feel like I want something behind it. Not, I mean, I've covered a little bit there, but I'm not worried about that. Um, I feel like I want a little bit of something. I had this piece here that's just a leftover piece from the French villages. Do I want something like that? But I need to, I want it to be more sort of the torn look, except for the straight edges that are going there. It's a glorious day today. We're actually going to walk to town. So Lulu has, um, she obviously do, doesn't drive anywhere in, in uh, Milan. And she's has to walk and get the metro. So she's doing lots and lots of walking every day. And she's fit. She um, She's very slim anyway, but she's... She seems to have lost some weight. For, not because she eats a lot. She eats plenty of food. She's very healthy. She, Her dad would be very proud of her if he saw her shopping bag. It's full of veggies and stuff like that. Um, but because of the walking, she's just, you know, any centimetre. I'll say centimetre because she is not fat by any means, but any excess has just dropped off. And I, I was like, oh, gosh, Lulu, I need to be doing that. And I loved it when I was up there with her that I was doing all those thousands of steps a day because I really don't do anything otherwise. And um, and so she's been doing all this. I think I might flip this one around that way just because I'm going to put an embellishment and I don't want to cover up this here. Um, so she's been doing all these steps and, and I've just... Oh, I think I would love to do that. But the thing about it is here, I don't have time to sort of be walking around everywhere, taking like 45 minutes to get somewhere because I wanted to walk sort of thing. And then to get myself out to do an actual walk is like really hard. Steph and I did get into the swing of it. Then it gets hot and then I don't do it anymore. And then it's I can't get back into it. And then it gets too cold when I do get back into the swing of it. So... There's a very long story of saying that I'm not walking. Um, and I know it's really, oh gosh, it's really good for me. And I just, my whole point is, I I envy Lulu with all of the walking that she's doing. Even though she might think, oh gosh, how annoying. But it's, you know, it's very good for you. So maybe it's telling me to just use this little piece. I want to put more on. Look at that wonderful i'm going to put this stuff everywhere I, I never pull that box down it's not very far like i just had to stand up and grab it there we go stuck it back together isn't that great so i don't know what i'm going to put on here yet and i would like to put something on the back maybe i'll have a piece of this i like that i do if you didn't understand or you hadn't understood i do like it Anyway, we're walking tonight into Santa Kanju. There you go. Got it out. And uh, and then we can eat and then we'll walk home with Steph's cousin. They, they will drive. They won't walk, but we will walk. And I could just put something like that. I love this. I, I don't know what it is. I just love that image, but I don't like it with the pink. I love this one. Don't like it with the pink. Possibly I'm not going to like anything with the pink. I love this one too. I've used this one quite a lot in the past. Um, or simply something like that. But I would want it to be up the top. Lots of fun things to play with. Ooh. Oh no, I do like that. I might put that over there. I know it's down the bottom. I'm taking back what I said, putting them at the top. You can put them at the bottom. Put them where you like. There you go. 
don't listen to me. I'm full of it. I always say to Steffi, Steffi, if I say something and then it, and it, um, and it, I often say the wrong thing and I say to Steffi, you know you shouldn't listen to me. Just don't listen to me. Especially when, like, you know, directions and that sort of stuff. I'm the worst. Now, I haven't stuck that on properly. I'm going to have to very carefully trim it. Very carefully. Okay. Oh, I did get my other colours in. Do I have any? Oh, I have one more left. Okay, I need to go and buy some more. I have one. I have got... Uh, I have four more colours in the new straw papers. I have a chocolate brown, a coffee colour, like yeah, like a cafe latte sort of colour. And I love that. I think I might put a label. And I have also um, like this purpley sort of, it's kind of like this colour. Um, that's limited edition because I could only get two packs of it. It's discontinued. It's a discontinued colour. And... I also got a sand sort of colour like that. It's really nice. It's like my favourite. So I did actually mean to do something with it today, but I forgot. I got distracted and I forgot. So um, I actually haven't pulled any out for myself. I need to go and do that. So, um, yes, very excited about it. There's lots of possibilities. Just got to find the time to do it. Really nice. So you could actually put that in the pocket that way if you wanted to, but I am going to put something there, but I don't know what yet. No, I'll think about that. Okay, we've got this one. Oh, that's that one. Oh, that's the one we made the pocket. Let's work on that one. So what I want to do is I'm going to glue some thin paper over the crinkly bit just to help iron it out just a tiny bit. Let's just go over it. Excuse me if it's bothersome to anybody. I'm just going to sort of iron it out a little bit with my bone folder. And I'm going to glue on what? I've got some more down here, just a sec. Now, the reason why I rejected this one is because it's also nice and neat, the way it's all folded up. And I'm just going to make a mess when I unfold it but I wouldn't mind using it. I can't even find the end, it's so folded up. Okay, so I need to share a piece like that. That'll be good, because then we can use bits and pieces here and there. Okay, without unfolding it. Okay, that will do because it needs to fit back in the pot in the in the box in the box so we need to put this i'm going to put it that way so the the dark bit is paler that's okay and i don't need quite that much okay so i need a non-sticky piece of paper that's going to be hard to find about here I'll glue in the middle first because when gluing a large expanse of this course you're at great risk of getting air bubbles I try my best not to get them but quite often I do get them it's just because you you know there'll be bits where you didn't get any glue there so this I'm glad we're doing this today because it's brought me to use stuff that I I've had for a super long time and I always forget to use. Okay, so that's going to go on there, like so. Now, there's not a lot of scope for manoeuvring here, so because it's quite fragile, obviously, as a paper. And then I'm going to flip it over and then iron this out. And it just flattens out some of the creases. And I'm so happy because that lovely old piece of paper has been saved and someone can write over the bumps. Oops, that's the wrong way. I need to glue that down that way. Love that. It's like a big piece of old tape, isn't it? So now I need... Oh, itchy foot, itchy foot. See, of course, the mozzies don't die in this weather, do they? 
<laughs> it's so funny. I said that to Veronica. Hi, Veronica. She's back in the States. Um, and Wynette. Hi, Wynette. And um, looking forward to Wynette's. Veronica doesn't do videos. But I am certainly looking forward to seeing Wynette's um, haul video. That's on the horizon, I would say. So looking forward to seeing that. I'm trying to find, while I'm chitty chattering to you, a bit chattery today. Um, this is, I didn't want that one. I wanted my sort of wallpapery sort of ones. Here they are. I knew I had some printed. I want one of these. I think I might like that one. So um, yeah, looking forward to one that's uh, haul video, if she does one, she might not do one. And um, anyway, I said to the girls, oh, the mozzies are terrible. And one, uh, not one net, one net new because she's been to Australia. Um, and Veronica's like, what's a mozzie? <laughs> I'm like, it's Aussie. It's Aussie for mosquito. Okay, so that is going to go on there. And I love it. I love the colors with the pattern paper. Oops. Okay. Oh, isn't that pretty? And just clean my fingers a little bit. Right. And then I, I will punch here, even though I should wait till it dries. I'll do a vigorous punch and that way it will work. And that's that. Let that dry a minute. And let's turn, oh, well, I know I need to, I need to fold, do the folds so I can see. I think that will fold inside and have that there. Yeah. And so now we need to put something on here. I'm wondering, oh, I could like something like that and fold it over like a tab. Let's do that. But I feel like I would like a little bit of some paper underneath it. I want all the things. I just want so many things. A little piece here. Would I like this paper? I would. Of course I would. Okay. Just choose the side that you prefer the font. Hopefully I haven't gone off screen. I did try to adjust the position of my of the arm. I slid it over more off, along the shelf. So that way... Um, now, if you're going to do a wrap around, you kind of need to do it while it's flat. Otherwise, you're going to open it out and you'll get a ridge, a lumpy ridge. This is also going to work towards flattening it out a little bit and strengthening it because it is a old crumply piece of paper. Okay, I want to leave that. See, it's going to get a ridge if I don't leave it open. And then I'm going to put this as a tab. So I'm going to fold it like that. I like doing things like this, as you know. That like not the usual sort of thing to put on as a tab. That really rocks my boat. No, it doesn't rock my boat. Or does it rock your boat or float your boat or both? Or can you say both? I don't know. Floats my boat, rocks my boat. And I'm going to put that on there like that. So you get a little slight decoration. Decoration in there, Sammy like something else there yeah. and snip so there's lots of spaces to write here on this one okay Oop, i'll just get the okay. door i'm back it was insta ink so that's that we were just folding this i can't remember oh i love that one really nice i'll leave that okay i think that one's done Anyway, we're going to revisit them in a second because we can't do all of these. Um, got a few left over. Okay, we'll just put these aside. I was a bit ambitious and because we've got quite a few here to still... I think that one's done. And then we have this one that needs to be finished. So I wanted to see... I could do something like the other one. I can't fold that one around. You sort of need one that you can fold around without losing too much. 
none of those. I could put quite like that. Or let's put those over there. Oh, I might like this. That one. Oh, I like that better. I think there's something about the colour. I like the yellow with the writing. And I'm not really a yellow person, but I do like some yellows. I don't like all yellows, but I like some. I think I'm going to put that there. I think I love that. don't know why. I just do. Now, oh, we've got the flower there too, so it's a floral one. You can put a pocket here. You can do whatever you like, and that's plenty for writing there. So that one's done. Now, this one here, I feel this one was... I was going to put something on the back, maybe. Let's see. I feel like it's a little bit flimsy, so it could do with a bit of something on it. Even just something like that, glued down the side. That's a really sticky piece of paper. No good this would just rip if you put it on the sticky it's just going to rip and then some of them are going to get like a little bit of some sort of textile on them and then I'll show you some other ones that I had made that were up on the thing there to be remade I don't think it needs anything else and you can of course see everything through it Let's see the front. No, that one's done. I think that one's enough. So unless I were to just see over here. That fabric. Um, I just have bits and pieces over here. I just wanted to see if I had a, a scrappy piece of hemp or something, but I don't. Oh, I do. No, I'm not going to put that on. So I know I'm not going to put any any fabric on this one. This one here I was. I don't know if I have near me any lacy bits that I would like to use. Just trying to see in that box without dropping it all on the floor. Now there are bits over here. All the I've got paper stuck to my elbow. It's just, oh, here we go. Oh. No, I wouldn't use that for that. Sorry, guys. I thought I was organised and I wasn't. I have this. This is nice. A piece of this. Can it rip? It can. I only want a little piece. Just going to put a little piece there. A little bit of glue and then have it sticking out a little bit and then I'll see how that's sticking out I could come back with a bit of a stapler that's all good I think I will leave that or would I just come in and put oh I think that's pretty I'll put that on there just a little Victorian fussy cut To the table. So that's that one. Now this one has that on the back. So I was thinking a bit of some sort of textile-y sort of thing. Let me see. I had of my strips here. sort of thing would I like oh that little piece of that's not that's new lace but still I think 
I might like the colours in this. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, it's not standing out enough. Mm, I think I'll put that one there. So the goal is just to have some nice, pretty writing spots to put in. That one I thought was finished. Unless I wanted to come and add that, which I do really like, and yes, I do. As I said, I'll probably come back and put a staple as well. I don't know which is the correct way, but that's going to go there. Love that. And then this one. glued that in there that's all good you could have a little embellishment here I do like that I think I'll put that there there's a little tiny little teeny tiny pop of color and you can tuck things in there like these things you can have little surprises I want to put something here so I could have a little piece of this I do like shades of beige, a crew. Okay. And then, oh, I do this like simply like that one. I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking I wouldn't. Let me just try this one because I did want to use one of these. Oh, I like that one more. What about the bigger one? No, that's covering up too much, see? Let's have it going over both. Like so. There we go. So, do I have a journal here? I have one. Um, the Italian ladies, it's got, probably going out in the next few days but I could just pop one of these in the pocket and show you I'll hop up and get it so this is what we've made just fun little journaling spots with real ephemera and not real ephemera so I would put a mix of both in that strip was just a plain piece of paper that we've worked on there so oh I also had this one so this was just an old letter and I put a little piece of real, that's what I was looking for, a thin piece of fabric like that and some of that type of lace. And then this one really simply just had a piece of ticking and a tiny piece of lace and they're just documents really. Um, and then there was my sample. Where did I put my sample? Up here. Oh, this was my sample. This one had a bit more on it and then that across there and that's it. And that bit of paper in there. So super fun little project to do. Um, very very pretty I think and I love that we can recuperate some of these very damaged things and also have live on some of these very old pieces of paper yeah and again you can stitch some paper you can stitch a page in you could punch some holes you'd have to but I didn't want this to be bulky this is something thin to go in a pocket so let me just show you quickly so this is um spoken for this journal but you could and I might have already put something in like this you could have for example instead of that you could have that in here and then I might even leave that there there you go Christy you've got something else in your journal see or and I also have these very big pockets so these things are a great look at that how nice is that or in these big pockets, um, these big pockets. See, I put an embellished one in the back. There's just a folded one that I didn't embellish, but I think the embellished ones are really nice. Rather than having, you know, like 50 million, um, 50 million, you know, tags and things that you have you have made, it's also nice to have something that's original that you've embellished. 
in those sorts of pockets. I was trying to see if I had one of the, I'm sure this had a flip out pocket somewhere, or maybe it was the other one. I can't remember. I can't, I'm not coming across it. That's not a pocket. Um, just not coming across it. So possibly this one. Oh, here we go, in here. Like you could put something like that in there as well. So that's how, what my thought is about using them. I'm just gonna take that out because I'll put that in my thumbnail. I'm gonna photograph it. And then I'll remember to put that back in Christie's journal. So thank you so much for watching. That is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure we've done it before, but I wanted to revisit it. And I now have quite a lot of nice little things to put in journals that were super fun to make. So have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.